everybody and welcome to another what are we going to store today so as you know we did our four week challenge on the dollar tree this time i'm going to do a five dollars and under aldi so we are going to shop at aldi and i'm going to show you what i got for five dollars and under from the aldi store so i figured out aldi is so much cheaper than the dollar tree on most things I got five pounds of flour for one dollar. Now the Aldi prices do vary depending on your location. So this was for the Aldi store in my area. I got brown sugar for one dollar. Now this brown sugar cannot be long storage. It can store it for a year. But I'm going to be using that within the year. I got four 49 cents baking soda. Baking soda you can use for all kinds of things. You can use it as a toothpaste. You can use it for just absolutely all kinds of things. You can use it if you have a stomach, uh, a stomach upset stomach, indigestion. You can use it for that. You can use it for cooking. So we got some baking soda. You also can use this to make some home cleaning products that have no chemicals. So baking soda. And then I got, once again, I got some of the dried potatoes. And these are good to have. You can make these with water. You can add these to all kinds of things to help your nutrients and also help you with carbs. In a crisis situation, you want more calories because you're going to need more calories because you're going to be burning more calories. I made that video just a few days ago when I had a brainstorm. So I'm really excited to share with you what we're going to be doing for next week. So the reason why I interrupted that video is because I want to share with you your homework assignment. So this is your homework assignment for this week. The Dollar Tree has these little toolboxes for $1.00. And you can buy it in the automobile section, the automotive section of your Dollar Tree. I'm hoping that everyone can find it. So it is a very cheaply made, but it is a toolbox. This is the start of our next four week challenge. And it is going to be our medical supply kit from the Dollar Tree. So I was going to do an Aldi food haul again. And, you know, to be quite honest with you, I really was tired of the $5 and under food haul. So I came up with this idea. So I'm hoping that a lot of you will go out this week, buy one of these toolboxes at the Dollar Tree, and every week for the next four weeks, I'm going to be sharing with you what we can buy to put in this. And in the end of the four weeks, we will have a good medical supply kit. Like that new, improved idea of mine. Lately, I haven't been able to buy much of anything at the thrift store. And this is how it usually is. In the summer and the spring months, when the yard sale season is in full bloom, I'm always able to find a lot of things at the thrifty store, at the thrift store, because they always have surpluses from things that didn't sell in yard sale. The winter months are a lean month. The winter months are the kind of months that you just don't see a whole lot. Now, I do go every week because that is something I enjoy. It's a little bit of recreation. To be honest with you, there's very little I do in life that's just recreational. You know, everything I do is because I'm teaching, learning, growing, um, harvesting. Everything I do is things I enjoy, but it's work-oriented. The thrift store, I go with my girls every single day. I've gone ever since they were babies, even in fact before they were born, I would go to that thrift store. And that is just my day that I really enjoy being there. So I'm not going to always be finding things. Also, in the last couple weeks, I have really purged a lot of things that I do not need. I've given them to other organizations and I've given them back to the thrift store. Things like that. Um, I'm going through my books. Most of the books that I do buy are books that I find enjoyable. I don't really buy books that I'm not going to enjoy. But if I've read them and I've gleaned all I feel like I can glean from them and they don't really have that much of a purpose, I have been donating them to the library. So all of these things I am doing, I'm really changing some focuses on my life. 
I really love a clutter-free home. My mama was that way, but yet I do enjoy memories and I do, do enjoy having things in my home. As you see behind me, everything here in this pantry came from things that people didn't want came from Fanny. It came from um, ancestors of mine from hundreds of years ago. Everything in my home has either been given to me or has been bought really cheaply. In fact, just about the only thing that is in this house that has not been a castaway is our bed. Almost everything that you see in my house was things that people no longer wanted. This behind me was given to me by a family member. This was an old stereo system given to me by a neighbor. That rack was along the road with a free sign. Much cheaper than free, and everything is free. If I see something that I really like to have, I oftentimes will wait. Sometimes I have to wait a couple years, but I seem to always find it free somewhere. Now, I do live in a rural part of PA, but not that rural that I don't see things along the road, like some places. So, I'm really working. I have a pantry video coming up. Extensively, I was working in here. I'm really happy with I how I also want to say thank you all of you who asked about me. So many of you are extremely observant. And no matter how much I try to hide it, a few of you figured it out. I have not been feeling too well for the last couple days, but it's all just a head cold and in time it will go away. I have not been sick since 2014, a relatively secluded life. In other words, I don't go to a lot of places where there are a lot of people. But as you know, I had to go to the ER with my daughter, and I had a lot of other things that came up. I was at places that I don't normally go to, and I think I caught it then. I realized I need some elderberry syrup. I'm going to be making a video on that as well. I don't have any elderberry syrup and I've never made it, but I realized by having that on hand, I could have really knocked this cold out. You know, hindsight is 2020, and I realized that I should have had it. And that's how it is with preparing. What do you want to do? Do you want to wait and wish that you should have done something? Or do you want to be proactive in your life and do it and be glad that you have? There's been a lot of things that happened in the last 10 days since my videos have been coming out about government and things like that. I've seen a real decline and I'm seeing some things that I had thought I would never see before. I was at the grocery store the other day when a robot greeted her. And this robot goes up and down the aisles. And they claim the robot's there for a reason, but I don't believe it. There's a lot of things coming out and it seems too much of a sci-fi but there are hidden agendas and there are hidden things that are happening and I'm here to speak out against it. I'm here to make people aware of it and I'm here to help you if you're willing to help yourself. So thank you so much for this five dollars and under. This video wasn't quite as special as some of them but like I said your homework assignment is getting this toolbox for one dollar at the Dollar Tree. We're going to fill it with the most important things that you need in any aspect of your life anywhere for any reason. It doesn't matter if it's the government or the economy. It doesn't matter if it's a storm or maybe just like me. You have a cold and you wish there was something in your medical box. Like me. Nothing in my box and boy, <coughs> I sure could use something. So I can't wait to share with you next week. It's going to be a blockbuster video because it's going to be some things that you're going to put in your own medical box and it's going to be exciting as well. So take care everyone and we'll see you guys tomorrow. So we're on January 23rd in Fanny's diary and we're in 1943. So you know on the 22nd they all went to the farm show and she wasn't feeling good. The 23rd she wasn't feeling good. And the 24th she says, I snowed in. I was in bed all day still with my bad cold. But don't worry, I looked on the 25th and Fanny is feeling well again. So it makes me wonder, was it the protocol in those days when you didn't feel well to stay in bed? Hmm, do you know anything about it? Let me know in the comments below.